Hey guys, welcome back to the Com channel. I'm here with Eric. He's actually managing the Warhammer Fantasy Battle Tournament here at Spring Break. Spring Fever. Spring Fever. Yeah. I keep getting that Woo! wrong. Spring Break! Woohoo! Um, so, tell us a little bit about the tournament. How many players do you have this year? How do people get involved? Uh, like, is there a okay. is, is there a fall or? All right. Well, this year we had uh, 41 signed up before the tournament. Uh, four had to drop. That's pretty standard. I mean, that's okay. And we were capped at 50. Uh, 40 is probably a good number because we had a, a lot of good space and we were able to use logistically. Everybody gets a little more breathing room when you get that fewer couple few tables. Uh, 37 showed up. We have a ringer, so there's 38. There's uh, 19 tables going on. Uh, five rounds, two days. Um, if the way that most people found out about it is they either knew somebody who was involved or had played here before. Word of mouth. We also have a website, uh, Brawler Bash. If you just Google Brawler Bash, it'll come up. But we're also on. Uh, we'll make sure yeah. we put it in the okay, description cool. yeah, area too. So if you guys are interested for future uh, events, you can find out about them. Yeah, um, we have so uh, Warhammer Fantasy Battle, the eighth edition uh, rules. This is our fourth year. Uh, it's gotten bigger every year. We've made we've. We've uh, gone for very manageable growth. So the first year we did it was uh, 26 players, and we've gone up slowly ever since then. Okay. Um, so we, we'd like to grow a little bit more, but we are slightly capped because of the venue. I mean, we, we can't go it above 50. So we thought we were going to reach our goal this year, but it didn't, it didn't happen that way. Well, I, I've heard rumors that there's a there's at least a small chance that Spring Fever will grow in venue size. So. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah, and if that's the case, then we'll be able to, you know, we'll be no. kind of like goldfish. We'll get as big as our enclosure will let us, right? Absolutely. But, yeah, everything's running real smooth this year. Uh, we, we always have excellent prize support. We always, uh, we're, GW looks after us. Gale Force 9, Battlefront, those names are very familiar to people. Uh, we also we also get local uh, sponsorship from All Funny Games here in Cary. They're the store that's behind us the most. They really helped out a lot with terrain and stuff. We, we, this year we really worked on our terrain, making it look top notch, really giving players uh, that 100% uh, cool exposure and uh, kind of feel. Because they bring their armies, they work in armies long enough that they deserve good terrain to play on. Right. It makes the, the games look a lot more interesting. Guys, we're going to stick photos of a lot of the armies that were being played. Uh, during this spring fever at the conclusion of this video, so stick around for those. Um, one other quick question, yeah. do you guys host more than just this conference or? This is, uh, Oak City Brawlers puts on the Brawler Bash. We're, we are affiliated with uh, Spring Fever because they're they're the larger convention that helps us kind of, they, we got we hooked up with them early on to, to take care of some of those logistical problems like venue. Because that's a really big deal when you first start now, trying to find a space to play. So we're uh, Oak City Brawlers and, uh, what was the question? I completely... Uh, no, I was curious if you, do you only host tournaments Oh yeah, Oak City Brawlers are, we only do this one every year. Okay. Uh, every, in the area, this is the only GT, which means a five, a five game, two day event within 300 miles. So if you're within, basically in North Carolina, and then this is the only thing that you've got for a two-day event. There's lots of one-day events, but we don't do them as a club. This is our one thing, our one big bang for the year. Okay. And um, do the Oak City Brawlers actually have multiple events? Like, do they have one in the fall as well? No. Okay. But but Spring Fever does. I mean, uh, Triangle Simulation Society. That's who puts on Spring Fever. This is their. This is their. Uh, they have two things. They have Tank Fever, and they also have another big one, Southern Southern Front. Okay. Is their other thing. Yeah. Okay. So next year, if people are interested in getting involved, all they need to do is go to your website. Yeah, then you go to your website. You can either um, you can either Google Brawler Bash, and we have a, a pro boards there. So brawlerbash.proboards.com. I mean, you can go there directly too. I also produce a podcast called Pro Hammer. And it's all about Warhammer Fantasy Battle, and I talk very a lot about this particular tournament because I'm trying to promote it. Okay. Uh, so there, there's a lot of information there, and there'll be coverage about you know coming up and uh, post coverage of the event. Guys, we'll put the the podcast link in the bottom as well. So again, if you guys are interested, uh, there's going to be tons of information in the description area. Make sure you take a look if you're a Warhammer Fantasy Battle person. Yeah, th this I, this looked like a pretty solid. Yeah, tournament. I want to say one thing. We have we have, we're very well attended. We have uh, three people from Canada this year. We got people from Texas that flew in, flew in for the tournament. Tennessee, South Carolina. So people are coming. Oh, Wisconsin. We got a Wisconsin night that came down to play. <laughs> so we we got a lot of people. If you if you're in the area and you it gives you that one opportunity to play against somebody from even another country, you might not get it otherwise. All right. 
Uh, guys, we're wrapping this up, and again, the photos will be posted directly after this interview.